Apparently in Nuts Free, Tailwind works fine in development mode, but when you put it into production, it doesn't, apparently. So I thought I'd just give it a go and see if I encounter this same problem. And if I do, I'll see if there's a way of fixing it. So I've got a brand new Nux installation running on localhost 3000. Let's have a look at installing Tailwind. So go to the Tailwind installation page and I'm just gonna go through what it says here. I'm gonna do it using Nux modules because that's the most up-to-date way of doing it. So I'm just gonna go through and do exactly what it says. Please be faster than the normal Nux installation. Let's just make sure that's actually working. So I'm gonna go to app.view and I'm gonna just do my my classic background red 500 classic class that absolutely classic i love you background red 500 <laughs> so i'm just going to put some nonsense in here let's see if it's working okay so it's working now let's run a build command and see what happens npx nux i generates let's see what happens Okay, so that's done. Now we can serve it using this command. See what happens with this. Okay, let's go to localhost 5000. Ooh, it hasn't worked. Interesting. Okay, let's see why. Let's see what's going on. Okay, well, we've got errors. Interesting. Interesting. Clear the cache because nine times out of ten, it's something to do with caching. Ooh, I can tell that that's not right already. That path isn't right. Well, obviously it's not right because it can't find it. Okay, well, let's have a look at the Tailwind config file because it's weird that we haven't put anything in there. So if we maybe just say we add app.view because that's where we have our Tailwind. Let's try that again, see what happens. Very strange indeed. I've never actually used this module installation of Tailwind CSS. I mean, why are there different ways of doing the same thing? Like, can we not just keep it simple, we just have one way? So let's have a look. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see what's in here. Not in there. What's gone wrong? What's happened? I think this is why people get annoyed and, and get rage because we just followed the instructions. Why does it not work? Why? And why does it work in dev but not in production? Why? Can someone cleverer than me please just explain that? I mean, this is the problem, isn't it? How can I deploy that to a static hosting when it's pointing at my local machine? Shouldn't be doing that, should it? it that's not right. That should just be looking in this folder here. Not building the files correctly. Yeah, that's not right, is it? It shouldn't be using those paths. Am I, am I missing something here? I am obviously missing something, but that's just not right, is it? What if I stop that server? Try it again. What? That looks like it's worse now. Can't keep up with this. See, that's weird, isn't it? Why has that now worked? What is going on? Okay, let's try that. So let's go back to 5000. Refresh that. It's worked. Weird. Do you know what? I've had issues with running that generate command before. Sometimes it just causes errors and I don't change anything. Run the command again and it works. If someone who knows stuff about Nux or has a functioning brain, because it's probably something obvious, let me know what the problem was with that. So the person in the comments who said that there's issues in production, yeah, yeah, I see that. Good news is the solution is completely erratic and there is no solution because I just kept running the same command until it worked. That's the solution. Run the build command or the generate command 18 times until it works. I love you background red 500. <laughs>